Hi, I'm Mike Thompson. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build and design a cardboard boat that will beat the pants off of anybody else for sure. So stick with me here. This is going to be a rather lengthy series. But if you want any more information that's not contained in these videos, uh, definitely check out my website at mikesinventions.com. So there's just a few basics here in boat design. I'm not going to go through the whole of naval architecture, just what you really need to get this going. There's basically two, two issues we're going to deal with. One of them is seaworthiness, and the other one is speed. Unfortunately, they kind of work hand in hand. You have to work things in parallel. Uh, you can't just do one and then the other. But the first thing we're going to talk about, obviously, is seaworthiness, because you can't go fast if you can't first float. So, and then there's basically two elements of seaworthiness that matter for us. One is buoyancy, the other is stability. Buoyancy is a pretty simple concept. This is that old legend with Archimedes and the bathtub and the crown and the gold and all that stuff. But basically all it says is an object that's floating will displace an amount of water that is exactly equal to its weight. What that means for us is it's how big we need to build our boat. So in my instance, let's say 120 pounds, let's say my boat's going to weigh 30, so I need to float 150 pounds. Well, that's great. So I need to float 150 pounds. Well, how big does my boat need to be? Well, to do that, all we need to know is the density of water, which fresh water, give or take, is 62.4 pounds per cubic foot. That means I need to float, uh, I need to displace, in that case, uh, 2.4 cubic feet at a bare minimum. So that's a very simple calculation. Just make sure that when you do your design, you add up every little accessory. The reason I use 30 pounds for my boat was because I've found that most boats I end up building weigh between 15 and 20 pounds. So I'm going to say 30 to make sure that I have a little bit of safety factor there uh, because if I'm going to displace the absolute minimum, the slightest little wave will wash over the deck and get in my boat and then I'm sunk. So the displacement uh, and buoyancy, that's all pretty simple. I'm going to go ahead now and uh, talk about a little bit about stability and we're going to kind of jump back and forth now between speed and stability because this is where you start to get a bunch of iterative solutions and you kind of have to work them in parallel. But hopefully the buoyancy part uh, is pretty simple. I'll be right back. 